what's going on everybody it's your boy john from the gamer dude here welcome you back to another episode of dang and ropa in today's episode we are going to investigate the first floor of hope peaks academy as requested by kyoko hina and uh sakura so uh excuse me well in the last episode we did some free time shenanigans and alter ego was stolen because of course of course alter ego was stolen anxiety was written across each of our faces as we went our separate ways Without hesitating, I rushed to the first floor of the school. Okay, I need to look around the first floor. Uh, yeah, we do. 1A. You know, it would have been really funny if I, like, came across exactly what I wanted, or exactly what we needed to immediately. Um, hmm. Leave the area? Okay, it's giving us the prompt. So we went to the wrong spot. Hmm. Could Alter Ego be... Could he have put... Whoa! Whoa! Someone come here! What's... What? What's wrong, Hina? What, that was Hina. She was supposed to be checking the third floor. There was no time to think. I was running to the stairs before I knew what was happening. Uh-oh, Hina. What'd you find? Also, the fact that I could hear you from the third sir, first floor means you found something! I flew up to the stairs leading to the third floor. Right away, I saw her standing there in the hallway. Please. Makoto! Hina, what's wrong? It's awful! The rec room door was open, and I looked inside and I saw I saw. What did you see? I'd better keep the others right. I'm gonna go get him. You go ahead, Makoto! Before I could say anything, she was rushing down the stairs. The rec room. What did she see in there? By this point, I was used to acting without thinking, so without thinking, I left into the rec room. Okay, guys, what is what happened? First thing I saw on the record was. Not what I was expecting. What's, what's going on, Celeste? It was Celeste, and she was hurt. She's hurt. She ain't dead. What is this? Some kind of wooden hammer or something. Pretty strange design. But there's something. There's some writing on the head. Justice one. Justice hammer one. That hammer. He attacked me with. I barely managed to avoid the blow, but I stumbled and fell. But now I. Cur but now I curse my lack of daily exercise. You are attacked with this. Justice hammer one. Oh, Makoto. Celeste, what happened? I was s stupid. I, I got a, I got attacked. Attacked? By who? I'm not sure. Some sort of strange man. St strange man? A suspicious person whose existence is so unusual, I can't help but call him strange. Without a doubt, it was some sort of strange, suspicious individual. And the man attacked me with a hammer on the ground there. Makoto! Celeste! I found Sakura. What? Celeste, what on earth happened here? Apparently she was attacked by some kind of strange man. A, a strange man? Tell us everything you can remember, Celeste. Be as detailed as you can. Well, I woke up a little before 7 a.m. Nighttime wasn't over, and I knew it was about to end, so I decided I would be okay if I... I decided to take a little stroll around the first floor. I understand how this could have been a mistake. Anyway, that's where I first saw a strange man, and I was immediately wary of him. So my obviously so he was obviously suspicious. So I decided to follow him at, or follow after him in secret. As I followed him, I saw him go to the rec room. I tried to peek through the gap in the door, which is when he noticed me and and then that's when you were attacked. It happened after seven a.m., just after nighttime had ended. So it happened just after seven o'clock. Then that was just about an hour ago, right when we were all meeting at the dining hall. The attack caused me to lose consciousness. Which would mean I was unconscious for about an hour. Well, I'm glad you weren't hurt too badly. That is because I begged and groveled for my life. You did. I told him I wouldn't let... I would not I would do anything if he spared me. I offered to lick his boots, whatever it took. You were willing to throw away all your pride. 
It was a necessary skill for survival. Anyway, the important thing now is that we go search for the suspicious individual. We do not... If we do not hurry, then this could be a serious problem. Celeste, what do you mean by a serious problem? When I looked at the rec room, I saw the suspicious man was not alone. He had with him... Hifumi. Hifumi? After he attacked me, he dragged Hifumi away. What? You mean Hifumi was kidnapped? Um... Shouldn't we start looking for him then? Listen, Celeste... I did anything in particular to stand. Did anything in particular stand out about this strange guy? Did anything stand out? Well, rather than trying to explain it, it would probably be faster if I simply showed you. Show us. Indeed. This is Hifumi's hand-me-down, digital, his digital camera. You don't mean. Actually. I was able to photograph this suspicious individual without him realizing it. Seriously? Let's see it. I would tell you not to be shocked, but I fear it would do you no good. With a strange comment in mind. We all looked at the camera. What the heck? Okay, I know I'm not supposed to be shocked. Huh? What? You were definitely right about the strange part. His their face is totally covered. Is that a robot costume? As I said, a very strange and suspicious individual. Yes. So this weird robot guy dragged it for me away. And I took this right after being attacked. In other words, a full hour ago. Which is why, if we don't hurry, it would become a serious problem. I, see. I believe I understand what happened. Well, no. There is much I do not understand, but... The point is, someone dressed like a dr like that dragged it through me away. And it happened over an hour ago. Just a second. This is bad. We have to hurry. Celeste, do you know where the serious man went? Let's see. When they left the rec room, they headed left. If that is true, then they are headed towards the stairs leading down to the second floor. Then he he must be down there, right? The second floor? That is where Kyoko is supposed to be. Huh? Speaking of which, why isn't Kyoko here? Um, Sorry, I didn't have time to go looking for her. This is bad. If the strange man is, did head to the second floor, Kyoko might run into him. We have to hurry. Kyoko is in danger. As soon as those words left my mouth, we all rushed to the second floor. Hey, you two! What is going on? What is with all the fuss? Yeah, you guys are playing a game or something? Does this freaking look like a game? Listen, have either of you seen Kyoko or Fumi? Nope, nope, nope. Sure haven't. Are they on this floor? We just got here ourselves. I heard a kind of uproar, so I came rushing. We came here together! No, you're just stalking me. Anyways, can you guys help us look for them? Why? What happened? There's no time. We'll explain it later. Well, fine. If it sounds like something interesting so is going on. Hey, Fumi! Kyoko! If you can hear me, say something! Her voice echoed down the hall in vain. Um, did you hear something? Maybe. I think it came from the library. The library? Let's go! We ran to the library as fast as our legs would carry us. And when we opened the door to the library... It hurts! It hurts! We found it me seriously injured. Are you okay? Um, I'm glad to see you're still alive. I mean, I'm not, but, you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's super bad, though. Look at the blood. How did you get hurt? That guy hit me. What guy? Robo Justice. That's what I decided to call him just now. What, did you what are you say? what are you talking about? That guy was Robo Justice. This Robo Justice you are referring to. This is this is it not? What the hell am I looking at? This is the one that attacked Celeste and Hafumi. Isn't that right, Hafumi? Yeah, that's him. I'm sure of it. Robo Justice. It can't be. <clears throat> Robo Justice, huh? Damn. This just keeps getting stranger. Biakia, what do you have to say for yourself on this? What, what did you say? Robo Justice. Okay. This just skips getting stranger. Why is there another justice hammer? A hammer, just like the one Celeste was attacked with in the rec room. But this one, 
Justice Hammer 2. And on top of that, this was actually a little bigger than the first one. He attacked me with that hammer. He bonked me right on the head with it. A hammer that big? I'm surprised you're still okay. I'm not okay. Look at all this blood. Protein helps heal wounds, you know. Would you like some? I haven't heard such a thing. Are you sure this isn't just you? Oh, Marikuma. It's him! <laughs> a robot justice, huh? Now things are really starting to get exciting. What kind of special moves does it have? Can it fly? Can it combine? <laughs> oh my god. Why is he here? Let us not concern ourselves with him. What we need to do right now is get Tefumi to the nurse office right away. Whatever else we do, he needs to be treated as soon as possible. Yeah. You're right, let's go. Mm, thanks, everyone. We moved Ifumi to the nurse's office on the first floor so he could take care of his injuries. Mm. How are you feeling, Ifumi? You want to take a look at or want to take a look at you? I'm okay. I think I stopped weaning. It's kind of still dizzy, though. Perhaps you should rest here a while. Yeah, that's a good idea. The rest of us should get back to looking for that mysterious assailant. Yes, indeed. indeed, before another victim appears. The Justice Hammer seems to be increasing in size. First one, and now two. So in other words, if there is a Justice Hammer 3, we can only assume that it's even bigger than the first two. Oh. If you get hit with anything bigger than that, then you would be dead for sure. Hmm. Tell us what happened to you, Fumi. Um... Well, I woke up early in this morning and started looking at Alter Ego ahead of, or looking for Alter Ego ahead of everyone else. And went to the third floor, and that was where the strange costume man attacked me. That must have been where I witnessed what I missed this around 7 this morning. After that, he dragged me to the library, and whack! Down came the hammer. Must have been about 30 or 40 minutes ago. Around 7.30, in other words. You still would have been, we still would have been in the dining hall. Which means, Hina, Saka, and, or Sakura, and I were together, and Kyoko was still with us. So, we all have alibis. I was in the laundry room doing my laundry. His black underwear and his black, it, it, is as black as pitch black darkness in the blackest night. Why do you have to know that? Isn't it obvious? I was just peeking. Anyway, that means Byaki uh, and Toko were together at the time, meaning that they all also have alibis. The only one that, the only ones who don't have alibis were for when Celeste and Ifumi were attacked are. The only two that we haven't seen yet are Hiro and Taka. That's it, right? By the way, what happened to Kyoko? I haven't seen her anywhere. Oh, yeah. She was supposed to be checking the second uh, floor, but I didn't see her up there at all. Where could she have disappeared to? She disappeared, huh? What a strange woman. She might be exactly as I suspected. Hold on. Kyoko was with us in the dining hall when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked, so... I'm not talking about who attacked them, huh? I'm referring to... I'm referring to what we talked about the last night. The mastermind's spy might be. Are you saying Kyoko is working with a mastermind? That's not possible. Isn't it? This woman who seems almost eager to handle dead bodies hasn't been revealed hasn't even revealed her true identity. Hey. Save the discussion for later. Right now we need to focus on finding the suspicious individual. Okay. Yeah, if we don't hurry, there's gonna be more victims. That might be why Ko Kyoko and Taka and Hiro haven't shown up yet. She's right. We have to do something about the mysterious man first. Don't worry about me. I'll catch up with you guys after I rest for a little bit. <laughs> Understood. Take care of yourself. Well, okay, let's go. Mm. So whoever is, that is running around, why are they wearing a weird costume? <laughs> Don't bother looking for a reason from a... <laughs> Don't bother looking for a reason from a deviant. What to do? What to do? So what are we going to do? Split up or look around? Our opponent is very dangerous. We don't know what they're capable of even here. What? What's wrong? I saw a shadow. Something moving around the top of the stairs. Really? Up on the second floor, then. You bastard. You know, won't get away from me. We all shot towards the stairs. He must have been around here somewhere. Let's split up and corner him. We don't have to take any chances. As soon as you found him, or you find him, call out, and I'll come running. Okay, but what shall we? What should we yell? Anything. It doesn't matter. So then, uh, ah, it's okay. Ah, or do ya, or whatever you want. Just yell loud enough so we can hear you. <laughs> huh, do ya? I've never heard such a reaction. 
Okay, whatever. Let's just hurry up and start looking, okay? Let's go. Hey, Mr. Robot, where are you hiding? If you don't come out, we're gonna decommission ya. We're gonna spread out in every direction and track down the costume suspect. Hmm. Where could he possibly be? Taka is very interesting right now. Like, he's really the guy that I'm looking to. Ah! That was a strange cry. It had to be Celeste. Came from the floor above. She's on the third floor. I spread it up to the third floor. Everyone. Over here, everyone! Everyone heard the scream. And they, everyone that heard the scream came running. Celeste, what's wrong? What? what? That was a rather intense scream for someone like you. I saw him. The strange custom men. He ran off as soon as I screamed. It was blocking. He, I was blocking the stairs further down into the hallway, and he disappeared. He must be down the hall. Come on, let's go. <laughs> what is it now? <laughs> Whoa, it really is true. But that doesn't matter right now. Huh? Whoa, whoa, what was that? It came from downstairs. It must have been Hifumi. He's in the nervous office. This is bad. Come on, we have to go back. What about the suspect? We've gone through all this trouble to capture him, right? Then why don't we split into two groups? It's all clear now. I'll lead the hunting party. Our hunting party. That seems much more interesting. So then. Very well. Then Makoto, Hino, you come with me to the nurse's office. I will leave the capture of the suspicious individual to Toko, Sakura, and Bayakia. So or Biakia, excuse me. We'll handle it. Just go take care of Hifumi. Okay, guys. Be careful. With that, we split into two groups. Me, Celeste, and Hina ran all down downstairs to the first floor. Just a second. He's in the nurse's office. Or nurse's office. Let's go. We stormed to the nurse's office. And what greeted us was a world of dripping crimson. <laughs> My wish was my command, I guess. <laughs> well then. Okay. I mean, you know, this is fine. Just a Samur 3. Everything was covered in red. And in the center of all of this red was Hifumi. No! The... It looks like something very bad has happened. Oh, what? No, what? I certainly was not expecting this. I did not imagine that Hifumi would be murdered. No way. Murdered? You're not serious, are you? He's really... He's not really dead, is he? Ding dong, ding. A body has been discovered. After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class begin what the that was the body discovery announcement the body discovery announcement the three or more people discovered a body uh, after a murder that that that's what plays and since we just heard it that means it must mean if me someone killed him one of us one of us and look at that when Celeste said that, she pointed it to, to something. Something on the floor. That is, Yep, the third Justice Hammer. I noticed that too. He was bludgeoned. Another hammer. Justice Hammer 3. And it's even bigger than the other two. Just as I suspect. One strike from that and you are finished. Then the killer. Then there can be no doubt. The suspicious individual. Going by what Hifumi called him. The culprit must be Robo Justice. Whoever's hiding in the costume is one that killed Hufumi. But wait. You saw him on the third floor, right? Running back to the hall? How did he end up in the nurse's office? You're not saying that they teleported or something, right? We can figure out that part later. Right now, we have to tell the others. You're right. So then. then we shall go. 
Hina, snap out of it. Are you okay, Hina? So sorry. I, I, I'm not sure I can move right now. I'm kind of feeling... This is a problem. We cannot leave Hina here alone. Okay, then I'll go get everyone. You stay here with Hina. Very well. I will leave it to you then. Okay, I will get... I'll be back soon. I tried to sound confident and upbeat, but I still hadn't stopped trembling from what I had just been through. I guess talking to Hifumi when I did was probably a really good idea then. Everyone else was already on the third floor. I have to hurry. This is where everyone is chasing after the suspicious individual. Where was he headed? Celeste, what's wrong? That was a rather intense scream for someone like you. I saw him, the strange costumed man. He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs, and he headed further down into the hallway and disappeared. He ran off further down into the hallway. Way into the back of the hallway. Isn't there another set of stairs over here, too? Could it be the physics lab? Oh yeah, the door's wide open. As far as I can tell, there's nobody here. But I still feel some kind of presence. Yeah, I'm sure I can feel someone's presence. This presence is coming from way over there in the back. Yep. I left through the doorway, and when I did, I found another nightmare. The second nightmare of the day was waiting in there to greet me. No, 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 no. Okay. There's two. There was another pool. Or there's there in a pool of his own blood. Was Taka dead? Okay. So who was it? Yeah, Fumi's body was discovered in the nurse's office. And Taka's body was discovered in the equipment room. I was a witness to two nightmares, one after another. No, they weren't nightmares. This is a harsh reality. The true nightmare of this reality... The reality I have to face every day, but still... Whoa, 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 Is Toko? Is Toko just dead too? Why is this happening? Or are you fainted from your the blood? To Toko? Don't tell me to Toko too. Relax. She just passed out as soon as she saw the blood. The blood. Oh, that's right. When Toko is a Toko, she has a fear of blood, huh? We tried everything to get her to wake up, but no luck. Just leave her be for now. It's like you said, I should just leave her alone for now. Is that Justice Hammer 4? Another hammer? Justice Hammer 4? Even bigger than before. That is a suspicious individual. Is that a suspicious individual responsible for killing Taka too? But why is it Justice Hammer 4? Huh? What do you mean? Celeste was attacked with Justice Hammer 1. And then Hifumi was hit with Justice Hammer 2. And then... This time, the number... It was Justice Hammer 4. What happened to number 3? Ah. What's the matter? Well, when you mentioned Justice Hammer 3, you reminded me. Ah, with it. Do you know something? Actually, Talk Talk is not the only one that has been killed. Hafumi's dead, too. Hey. Hafumi's been killed? Yeah. Which is why you came to uh, get us. Then we'd better go check it out. 
Of course, come on. Sakura, Byakia, or Byakia, and I rushed out of the physics lab. I'm reverting again, and I don't know why. As soon as we were out of the physics lab... Oh. Ah! Celeste, aren't you supposed to be waiting at the nurse's office? Yeah, Celeste, aren't you supposed to be waiting at the nurse's office? Okay. So, so something has come up. Hmm. Yeah, I heard. Fumi's dead, right? Mm -hmm. Well, that is not all. It is gone. Huh? What is gone? It has disappeared. Disappeared? If Fumi's body has disappeared... What? What are you talking about? It disappeared. Don't be ridiculous. Come on. Are you serious? What? What the heck is happening here? Everyone back in the nurse's office. I practically leapt down the stairs, nearly losing my balance. I reached the nurse's office completely out of breath. I couldn't believe my eyes. Hifumi's body was just there a few minutes earlier. It just disappeared me and celeste went to the bathroom girls oh my it was not time to talk about that no oh my gosh we just went to the bathroom and left the body unattended it's fine y'all had one job Oh my gosh. Y'all had one job and y'all failed it. Good job, guys. But we were only gone for like a minute. And then when we got back, mm -hmm. this must have been the work of the culprit. They must have come and carried the body away. They must be really enjoying this. Enjoying the sight of us standing around frightened and confused. We're all gonna die here. We're gonna die. Just like those guys died. What did you say? I don't believe this. I don't believe a body would have just disappeared. Wow. First of all, two murders, and now one of the bodies has been taken. This is unnatural. Hold on. What do you mean, two murders? Taka has been killed. We found him in the equipment room. No way. It can't be. Taka, too. It can't be. It can't be. Kina, Kina calm down. We're gonna, all going to die. All of us. They're going to kill us all. <laughs> then who might the next target be, Toko? Huh? I completely forgot. She's still unconscious in the equipment room. You left her at the scene of a crime? We didn't have a choice. She passed out and refused to wake up. Huh? So so she's still unconscious. Damn. Wait, you knew what she was up there and said nothing? Why? <laughs> that annoying little insect that clings to me wherever I go. We'd better be off without her. <laughs> Calm down. You forget about her, didn't you? You forgot about her, didn't you? You have no blame to you have no right to blame me. Everyone stop fighting. Right now we need to hurry back. I can't take this anymore. I don't want anyone else to die. Biakia, if something happens to Toko, I'll never forgive you. <laughs> huh. We shot out of the nurse's nurse's office, bolted up stairs, headed back to the third floor. We ran back to the equipment room at full speed, and when we got there. Toko! Thank God you're okay. But right away I noticed there was something very different here. It was gone. Taka's body, which was just had been right there, had disappeared. This, this, is... this can't be happening. Are we all hallucinating or something? No, it's not a hallucination. I know I saw it here before. And what I'm seeing now isn't what I saw before. What? What are you saying? Taka disappeared too? Stop saying disappeared. Uh, it's just... It didn't just vanish into thin air. Obviously, whoever did it has hidden the body. But why would they do that? I couldn't possibly begin to imagine. Anyway, our costume suspect is clearly continuing the crime spee. We gotta hurry up and catch him before he kills all of us. Oh, I don't think you have to worry about that. Huh? Think about it. Who would possibly be responsible for killing and hiding the, those these dead bodies? Um, when Hifumi's death cry went up, everyone was here together on the third floor. After that, we split up into two groups. Now this time, you all came here as a group from the nurse's office. In other words, the only ones that could have done this is Hiro and Kyoko, who are missing. 
Hold on a second. Kyoko has an alibi for when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked. There's no question that she has what that she ha was in the dining hall with us. Hmm. You seem very adamant about defending her. Perhaps are you in love? That is not it at all. Fine. Well, anyway, yes, I do accept Kyoko's alibi. Which means the suspicious individual here we're looking at is none other than Hero? Hmm. Which further means there is no more murders and regulations or no there will be no more murders. The regulations are very clear about that. That's right. The rule says that you can only kill a maximum of two people. Right. As long as that rule is in place, there will not be a third murder. If they want if they were to break the rule. I Mincia! Mincia without a second thought! Mincia grind you and turn you into a paste. By the way, did you did you know that fish paste can also refer to shellfish, like shrimp and or crab? Indeed. So since two people have been killed, there is no possibility of any more. You knew that from the beginning, didn't you, Biakia? Which is why you knew Toko would never be in danger. It's I still meant it when I said we'd be better off without her, though. Anyway, with that in mind, we can now relax and search for the two missing bodies. Two missing bodies. Two people have been killed, and their bodies have been hidden. The only one without an alibi, and the only one that could have done it, is Hiro. But... Is he really the killer? And what about Kyoko? If she's not involved in this case, where did she go? What? Hey, Makoto, what's the matter? Oh. Oh, no. It's nothing. Hmm. Whatever. We need to find the bodies. Our little narrative here can't move forward. So then. Very well. Let's split up and begin searching. But... but, but <laughs> there is no need to be afraid. No more murders will take place during this case. I, mean... I know that, but... I mean... I think I do, but... If you're still nervous, I'll come with you. Okay, thank you. No need to thank me. Let's get moving. Yell out if you find anything. Biakia left the equipment room and followed the uh, by the others. I have to try and find the two missing bodies. Well, we'll have to find those missing bodies in the next episode. As it's discovery time! Discovery time in Deadly Life Chapter 3. But yeah, honestly though, crazy that two people died. Um, what my here's my overarching thoughts before I go. There's no way it can be hero. Like, I hero. Oh, God, I got back. What? 